Uh, had a look at her, a couple of highlights and that, 22 points a game on the season so far. She's uh, one to watch and straight away. Gets the ball slammed into her hands and opens us up with a layup. That's a, as hard as they come, those baskets. That's going to be the matchup of the night. As Otto at the other end, she's confident mid-range jumper. She's tall and long. Yeah. We've talked about her being a sort of a jack of all trades. She plays one through four. She guards the five as we see Otto knocks down the triple. Underway here is Otto, guarded by Murray. Gets it to Freeburn. Storshaw's wide open in the corner. That's Hits wild. the but side of the backboard, but Otto bullies. Bu buckets Otto. Murray. She knows where to be. Tough one. A little bit of momentum here for the Cyclones as they close this gap to six. And Otto catch and shoot. Nothing but net. She's super confident in her own Rocks ability. It's Rocks Diamonds, though, right? Like that, we saw that backboard. Doing a great job just in integrating herself in the offense, taking something uh, that, you know, that's in rhythm as Mick Spadden just cut straight to the basket. Yeah. He's McSpadden, deep catch. Got to go to work. Got to go to work. Does so. Can't get to go. Great oh, rebound. Otto. Otto. Left Long hand finish. finish. Left hand finish. Flames. Yeah, that, that mover blocker offense has really been a, a feature of Coach Seabom's groups, whether it's the junior or senior level, and it's really generating some really good looks for Townsville. Otto. Of good looks. <laughs> Weak side can come over early enough. Here's Woods just... Working the step through good defense from Otto gets a hand on it, but there's Jamie Seabomb. They want buckets and they want them quick. Well, they, they have to generate, generate a higher points per possession than we've seen so far. So that's a great quicker shots from McSpadden and Otto is back the to back buckets. Benefactor.